Hey guys, welcome in and welcome back. I am Stay Stace and today is hashtag ATC MDC Open Collab. This open collaboration is being hosted by Lene, who is fashionably 50 something and beyond. I will have her linked in the description box below. Definitely go and check her out and check out everyone who is participating in this open collaboration today. In addition to making things for this open collaboration, I am also participating in a Facebook group that does weekly ATC challenge prompts for the entire year. So I love doing those, but I am very, very behind. I think I stopped off at week 29 with the mushrooms. And so this week I've kind of been trying to play catch up because I really wanted to create some Halloween cards, but I ended up just kind of like skipping over some of the weeks. So I stopped off on week 29. This is week 30. This is my card for week 30. And I think that it's so cute. The prompt for week 30 was your favorite colors. And I had this fabric that I received from, from the so sweet, so generous Diana, who is Diana Love Colors here on YouTube. She sent me a nice package of all of these green fabric squares. And I knew that it was going to come in handy and it definitely did for this ATC. So in the background I did start off with a two and a half inch by three and a half inch piece of cardboard. I also started off with that size piece of paper and I glued this fabric with the frayed ends on it onto the cardstock and I then did a whole bunch of wonky stitching all around it. You can barely see it. I did do it in like a white stitch. So it's actually going like all over the card, which is really, really cute. And then I also stitched a border onto another piece of green fabric. And I have a piece of cardstock underneath it and I popped it up a little bit just so it can have a little bit of depth. And I like the way that that turned out. I used some ribbons and trims that I had in my stash and I just cut them on a vertical. I also added this cute little cactus ephemera because it's green and it's so cute cute. And then also this wooden butterfly button, which I also think is cute. And that is my card for week 30, your favorite colors. Week 31 was anything goes. And I was actually trying to use up some of the dyes in my stash that I recently got in on a haul from Timu. A lot of my Halloween Timu dyes just arrived, but that's okay. I'm trying to work through as many of them as I can. And then I eventually need to bring you a Timu haul video. Yeah, that's coming up. But this blue panel is one of the dies that I just recently got in and I backed it with this gold paper and I think that that just turned out super, super cute. I love that pop of gold underneath it. I've also been die cutting a few sunflowers. I was trying to incorporate it into some projects, but I just added one on this card because I thought that, that was cute. I added a piece of glittery ribbon trim and did a double zigzag stitch down the center, left some of those little threads coming out and this one just says be curious so really really cute and that was anything goes week number 32 was shabby chic and I thought that this one turned out super super cute as well so I did start off with a two and a half inch by three and a half inch card base but then I cut it down just a little bit on the sides and then I used a piece of really pretty lace and now I did cut the lace at two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So the lace is actually the size of the ATC and then I staggered a panel on top of it too. So it's kind of like tilted a little bit and I thought that that was just really, really adorable. This die cut was given to me by Qualitas Creations here on YouTube and I love it so much and I thought that that was really excellent for a shabby chic theme. I have a little piece of lace running in the background, this chipboard piece that says yay for today, and also this layered flower. I went ahead and assembled that and in the center I just put like a nest of lace in the center and I think that, that just really turned out cute. I definitely want to make more cards like that. I just love the way that that looks. So that is my card for week 32 shabby chic week 33 was favorite cartoon character and I had this Daffy Duck playing card in my stash that's what it looks like on the back with all of the characters and I think at the bottom this says 1994 Warner Brothers card and I just loved it just like it was but, but I did want to put some extra touches on it so I used some of that Tim Holtz collage paper in the background here so I have a little piece right here and a little piece on the side and then I also have some opaque flowers with this gold falling on it and so I placed it around the card in 
different little places. I had to like cut up the sticker and just place it around. And then I outlined it in a gold paint pen. And I also took like my fingerprint and just like dabbed in a couple of places just so I can have more little gold specks all around the card. And then I took a little ticket that I had in my stash. I also did the gold edges on it. I did distress it, but it's kind of like plasticky on the top of this card. So like all of my distressing kind of just wiped off. And I did two little tiny staples up here in the corner. And I think I like the way that, that turned out. Really didn't have to do much to this card. And it is super, super cute, right? Daffy Duck. Okay, week 34 was Owls. I did not do the Owls card yet. So that's the one I skipped for right now. Week 35 was Orange, Black, and Red. And for these two cards, for the card base, I actually have a YouTube short on these. I took an orange piece of paper and some stamps that I recently won from Jessica, who is Jessica Cards and Crafts here on YouTube. I stamped all in the background. I took some white paint and splattered it all over the background as well to create some interest. On this one, I corner rounded the corners. I have a die cut plate that cuts out a whole bunch of bats. And this was the negative piece from that plate. And I did it in this black glittery paper and I thought that that just looked really really cute. I also just got these glittery puffy word stickers in. Um, I purchased those from Joanne and I just love the way that this spooky looks on here. I have a cute little bat up here and I punched two holes in here and I have my little jump ring going straight through the card like that and I added a little charm so it would fit like on the inside of the card and not like dangle off on the side and that is my little pops of red. So the tops of the haunted house has the red roof and so I think that is a Really, really cute. Again, this was orange, black, and red. Week 36 is leaves. I did not do leaves yet, but I have started die cutting out some leaves to see what I'm going to do with that. Week 37 is anything goes. I didn't get a chance to do that one yet. Week 38 is brown, white, and orange, anything. So we could have made any kind of card thing as long as it had some brown, white, and orange in it. And so this was my card for that one. This is actually the card that I made on a YouTube short. So I'll have that link somewhere below or up here in the corner. And yeah, so so that's week 38. I just got this die in from T Move that says October the 31st. And so like the abbreviation for October is actually upside down, but I like it. You can actually turn it anyway. I did do some zigzag stitching on top of the card and I also inked the edges in brown. So that's where the brown part comes in. Okay, that's week 38. Week 39 is Halloween. I have not completed my Halloween card. I think I have my little base started. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this or not. I got this really cool Halloween tissue paper out of some packaging from my mismatch challenge giveaway that I'm currently hosting here on YouTube. And this sticker actually came off of some packaging as well. So I was playing with how that would look, but it's not really tacked down. I can definitely remove that. I'm not sure. Anyway. This is the makings of week 39 Halloween. So this is what I did for week 40. And I think that it just turned out so, so, so cute. So for this one, I actually had some napkin left over from a project that I did for Jessica Cards and Crafts this year. Um, I decoupaged an entire crate for her. And so I had some of this pink and white napkin left over. Decoupaged it on the background of this cardboard. I wanted to use this cute little ghost from scrapbook.com that I got in last year. I haven't used most most of my dies that I got in last year in hopes of using them for this crafting season but huh, it's okay hopefully I'll get to all of them soon but this one is from scrapbook.com I wanted to use this ghost but then I cut it out in a pink plaid paper because that's just what I had laying around as a scrap um and then it clashed with the pink background so I used some of that striped black and gold heart vellum from Dollar Tree and I put it in the background I added this cute little gold frame and added my little ghosty on top so you can definitely see her in all of her ghoulishness now. I also dabbed on some white paint in the background and I also added some strips of washi tape with some gold falling on it in this card as well and I think that overall it just looks really really cute. Okay, so this is where I stopped here at week 40 and I know that I am still super, super behind, but I'll catch up because I super enjoy doing these ATC cards and playing with different techniques, different textures, different die cuts, different patterns, just everything like I have fabric here paper die cuts in the background here lace in the background here we did a painted border here like I just have so much fun playing with different types of media definitely browse around today and see what everyone is creating 
And Lene definitely encourages us to join her open collaboration. So consider doing that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.